What's going on guys? My name is Brian Sanchez and welcome to Living the Magic. Now if you came across this video because you are planning a Universal or Disney vacation, consider subscribing because we do tons of videos here with reviews and tips for you guys to get the most out of your vacations. Now today on the show, I'm not going to bury the lead at all. We are talking about one of my favorite restaurants in Orlando. It is the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar. Melissa and I took a trip to Universal in March and we didn't have park tickets until starting on Sunday, but we arrived early on Saturday just so that we could go try a few of the restaurants in CityWalk and see what our resort had to offer. And I'm so happy we did. The very first place that we ate was Cowfish. Now, if you don't know what Cowfish is, it is a table service restaurant that is in CityWalk between the two parks at Universal Orlando. Uh, they specialize in sushi, sushi rolls, things along those nature, but they also have an extensive menu of burgers, sandwiches, and other options. Uh, so if you're not into sushi, uh, you definitely can find something here that is up your alley. Uh, we know this because Melissa is actually allergic to seafood. So uh, I absolutely love seafood. I love sushi. I don't get a chance to really eat it all that often because she's allergic to it. Uh, but this one, we definitely had to go check out. Uh, I ended up having a sushi roll and Melissa had a signature burger. And I gotta tell you, was some of the best stuff we ate the entire weekend. Now the first thing you'll notice when you walk into this restaurant is it is huge. Uh, it is three stories tall. Uh, there's fairly large dining rooms and then there's also an outdoor patio up top. Uh, even though that this place is that huge at dinner time, it gets super crowded. So my first tip for this, if you definitely wanna check it out, is try and get in early. Lunchtime seems to not have a problem. Uh, you know, we walked right up to the building on a Saturday at around one o'clock and we walked right in, no wait, there were plenty of tables. Uh, so definitely, if you wanna check this place out, you might wanna try either getting in early or get yourself a reservation. Now, of course, they have a full bar, tons of craft brews on tap, uh, mixed drinks, they have a bunch of signature cocktails. We didn't actually order any of those. Uh, you know, I just went with my kind of go-to beer at the moment. Uh, not a sponsor or anything, but the Coda Brewing Company's uh, Golden Ale, uh, the Ohana, or the Big Wave Golden Ale, that's what it's called, uh, is freaking fantastic. Uh, you know, and it paired really well with what we ended up eating. Uh, for an appetizer, we went with uh, an order of fried pickles. I'm not a big fan of fried pickles. Uh, these were pickle chips, not pickle spears. Um, I gotta tell you, they were really good. Um, you know, they weren't super greasy. Uh, the dipping sauces that came out with them, there was a couple of them. Really, really top notch. You can definitely tell they were made in house, not something they were sourced. Uh, and they were fantastic. Uh, I really, really do not regret buying those uh, fried pickles, which I usually do because I'm not a huge fan, but Melissa likes them. So we ended up ordering them. Highly recommend. Now, as far as our entrees go, like I said, I love sushi. I don't get a chance to eat it very often. So I definitely went full blown on this one and got me a sushi roll. I ended up with the King's Roll. Now, I wanna read to you what is on this because it is packed full of really awesome stuff. So the King Roll consists of uh, fresh tuna, cani, jalapeno, cream cheese, scallions on the inside, and then coated with panko breadcrumbs, and then it's flash fried. And then on top of that, it's topped with uh, kani salad, masago, sriracha, and jalapeno, or no, excuse me, Japanese mayo, uh, served with ponzu dipping sauce. Um, it was huge. This thing piled up really well, um, and it filled me up. I usually end up eating like two sushi rolls, uh, but because we had the pickles already, I just went and ordered the first one, and I was prepared to order me another one, but I was actually full by the end of this thing. Uh, it is also one of the best sushi rolls I've ever had. Uh, you know, everything was super, super fresh. A lot of times when you order sushi, sometimes it gets that fishy taste, um, that fishy smell. It did not have that at all. It was clean, it was crisp, it was fantastic. I highly recommend it. And at $17, um, you know, it's a little bit pricey, but honestly, anytime you buy sushi, you know you're gonna spend a little bit more and I don't feel like the prices here are that much different than any of the local sushi places that I used to go to all the time. So it's great value, highly recommend the King's Roll. Now as far as what Melissa ordered, again, she is allergic to seafood, so she skipped the rolls and went with a burger. The burger that she chose was the Borson Bacon Burger. Now at $16, this thing is a incredible value because it is huge. Uh, she could not finish it, there was a substantial chunk of it left, and it came with a giant side of fries. 
Um, you know, so the Borsen Bacon Burger is a beef burger uh, with garlic and herb, uh, Borsen cheese, applewood bacon, sauteed mushrooms, grilled onions, lettuce, tomato on an onion roll. Um, again, fantastic. The burger was cooked really, really well. Uh, everything paired with it really nicely. All the flavors, the bacon was absolutely fantastic. I'm not even a really big fan of bacon, but that was some really good bacon. And that cheese was really, really good. Um, again, uh, $16 on this one, uh, tons and tons of food. So if you're someone that likes really large portions, uh, everything that we ordered uh, would really, really satisfy that craving and that need for you. Um, you know, all in all, this place was really, really good. Uh, the service was absolutely fantastic. Uh, flavors were on point. The atmosphere is a whole lot of fun. Uh, great selection of beers and things like that. Uh, so good, in fact, that we skipped going to another restaurant on our last day there and went back. On our last day of the trip, uh, our flight wasn't until the afternoon. We didn't have park tickets, so we said we were going to have lunch in City Walk, uh, and we were actually gonna try Antijitos because we'd never been there either. Uh, but we had such an amazing experience at Cowfish that we decided to go back and try some other things. Now, one of the signature things at this restaurant is burgushi. If you don't know what burgushi is, essentially it's a sushi roll, but with the elements of a cheeseburger. So, uh, ground beef, cheese, bacon. Uh, so, on this trip, I felt I really needed to give that a try. And the one that I went with was the All-American Bacon Double Burgushi. Uh, this thing has a seasoned premium black Angus beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, and applewood bacon, which was really, really good, uh, wrapped in soy paper and potato strings, then flash fried, topped with uh, dill pickle, red onions, Roma tomato, and their cowfish sauce. This was really, really good. Um, with or without dipping it in soy sauce, because I was, you know, alternating with the pieces going back and forth, um, this was fantastic. Uh, I almost ordered another regular sushi roll, uh, just because I enjoyed that King's Roll at the beginning so much, but I'm really, really glad that I gave this a shot. Um, it's not super adventurous. It's, you know, it's it's a bacon cheeseburger, essentially, in a roll form. Um, but I gotta tell you, you know, it's, it's different enough, it's creative enough that it's definitely worth a shot uh, if you're not really into sushi, but wanna go here and, and try something a little bit different. Now for this second trip, uh, Melissa ended up ordering uh, another burger, and it was the CBCLT. Uh, this thing has, it's a beef burger with cheddar cheese, applewood bacon, white cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, cowfish sauce on a brioche bun. Uh, this was a little bit smaller than the uh, Borson burger that we had the first time around, but again, she still didn't finish it. I ended up eating some of it as well. Uh, another really, really fantastic burger. Uh, everything that we ordered on this menu was absolutely fantastic. The only drawback was that at the end of each meal, we were so full that we didn't try the dessert. We couldn't. We were so full that we would have ended up eating two bites of it and throwing it away. So essentially, guys, if you have the chance to go eat at Cowfish and you've never done it, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, we've eaten at almost all of the restaurants at City Walk. Uh, I wouldn't say that there's a bad restaurant at City Walk, uh, but there are definitely ones that stand out more than others. Uh, Cowfish is definitely one of them. In my opinion, uh, it is the best restaurant in City Walk. Uh, so if you have the chance, if you're looking to maybe try something different and you've been turned off by the sushi aspect of it, uh, definitely give it a try. There are tons and tons of other options. Uh, you know, chicken sandwiches, burgers, those burgushi rolls are definitely something to check out. And then of course, if you love sushi, this is the place to go at City Walk. And that's gonna do it for me today, guys. So if you've ever been to Cowfish and you tried something that was really awesome, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item on the menu is, uh, or if there's something that you tried that was less than your expectations. Uh, I really want folks to be able to have as much information about these things as possible so that you guys can make the best decisions when planning your vacations to get the most out of them. Because let's face it, these vacations cost a lot of money. So I want you guys to make sure that you guys have a fantastic time. Uh, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, you know, If you are planning that vacation, consider subscribing. Uh, leave a comment down below and make sure you give it a massive thumbs up on the video because it really does help us out. Uh, we'll see you guys around next week. And as always, one love.